everybody. Welcome to the Hallmarkies podcast and we have a treat for you. You guys are going to love this episode of the podcast, a special one. Uh, I'm film critic Rachel Wagner and we are doing another uh, ranking video uh, episode where we rank one of our favorite hall stars and uh, I'm joined by my friend Caroline Sear. Hey y'all. And we have the very special Paul Campbell is here to help us. We are going to be ranking his movies. And Paul, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Hey, y'all. I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> yeah. And now you're going to be right up there with Nina. Aren't you so proud? As I know. As I gotta, I, I'm, uh, I'm right on her heels. Uh, she can feel me nipping at her heels because I, <laughs> I can't let her get too far ahead because she's fast. She moves. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess we'll have to have Nina on and rank her. <laughs> that would, that would oh, be a long luck. episode. That'll be like a six-part segment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for having me. I'm thrilled to be here, and I can't wait to see what you've come up with for me. Yeah. Before we start, we should say, uh, so what is it that you think uh, is so appealing? What do you enjoy most about doing these Hallmark movies? Um, I, the common thread w with them is that they're all feel good movies. That's what I love about them. And particularly now having moved into the fatherhood phase of my life and realizing what kind of content I want my child to grow up watching. Mm -hmm. This is exactly the kind of stuff that I want them to watch. And, uh, you know, there's too much, there's too much bad stuff happening in the world these days to be watching depressing, violent content. Um, Hallmark is where it's at. And you know, they're fun to film. I, the people across the board are just incredible to work with. I've never had a bad experience. I've never worked with somebody that I wasn't thrilled to work with. Uh, I mean, if this was my only job for the rest of my career, I would be happy. I'd be happy. Yeah. With them. That's really cool. Yeah. I mean, it's true, especially in this the quarantine time, there's just something special about watching a Hallmark movie. <laughs> there's nothing like They're it. They're like a hug. It's like yeah. your TV's giving you a big old hug. Yeah. Because nobody else allowed you. Allow to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Caroline, what would you say, what do you think that Paul Campbell in particular brings to his uh, his roles on Hallmark Channel? Uh, funny, like yeah. humor, of course. And I just, I just love watching all the movies. It makes you feel good. And it's just fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you nailed it. I think that what you do uh, that not all of the other actors do is you bring the funny to a role, even a more serious role. Uh, you try to find ways to make you laugh, which I appreciate. Mm -hmm. Well, so. thank you. I, that's been my goal from the outset was to try and bring a lighter side to uh, the, these are all pretty light movies anyway, but there is always a lighter side, even in the most serious situations and even the most serious people. Um, know how to laugh, know how yeah. to make jokes. So yeah. yeah, that's my goal. Thank you for recognizing that. I noticed nobody mentioned the wood chopping that I do, which is also one of my sort of big yeah. feature elements. I mean, um, it yeah. elevates it for sure. Wood chopping is my, is my favorite, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, and do you have any preference about doing the, the Christmas movies versus doing the non-Christmas movies? I like to mix it up. The Christmas movies are so nice because you are really, for that three week stretch that you're making the movie, you are transported into Christmas land for that time. And it's usually in late summer or early fall. Uh, so we get three weeks of Christmas at a very unlikely time of year. And there's also just an extra element of magic to those movies. You know, there's like the, the magic of Christmas is, 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 there it's prevalent it's always there and it's just kind of fun to live in that world but then it's also nice to um do some of the other seasonal stuff because i find i get to be a little bit more humorous usually the christmas stuff i'm not, i'm not quite as jokey funny we're more like let's get serious about christmas here but in the other in the more seasonal ones i get to have a little more fun with the characters i find maybe a bit cheekier uh so yeah. you know i enjoy, i enjoy those as well as much I'll, i i love all yeah. You know, very cool. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna <laughs> pick one over the other. I like them all. Yeah, you have a very good answer. <laughs> very good. Very diplomatic. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, who's your favorite co-star? No, just kidding. <laughs> nice. Um, <try>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, my number seven of the seven films, 
uh, is A God Wing Christmas. Mm. Okay. And just because uh, it's a little more serious and I think that uh, I could have used a little bit more time with the two of you guys to, together because I love you and Kimberly. And that was a great combination. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'd love to see you guys pair up again in something a little bit lighter. And uh, just, I, I think you would be so much fun in something like say uh, a Nina script with a little bit of sort of sarcasm and a little bit of banter, but that wasn't this movie and that's fine. And it was cute and it was sweet and it had a nice message and I enjoyed it. Uh, but I, I just think that's my least favorite of the seven. <laughs> You so. will be you will be happy to know that uh, one of the one of my thoughts on that movie was that we didn't really get enough time as well to develop that relationship. Um, there was so much story going on, mm -hmm. but while we were filming that, Kimberly and I came up with an idea for a movie that we thought would be really fun to do uh, that we did sell to Hallmark, and I am uh, we are in the process of doing uh, our first major rewrite on the script. We've already written it and, uh, mm -hmm. and I'm just in the final pass on the, uh, the final pages on the second pass. So we're really hoping that we can get this movie made for this Christmas. Oh my um, God. And it's oh. very fun and it's edgier and it's just us being silly and sharp and you know, it's, yeah. it's everything we, wa we wanted to do with Godwick, so. That's um, so exciting, big scoop I here. Know. This is I know. Because I, I remember when we did the combined interview with the two of you, that you said that you were working on something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Moving forward. We'll see. Oh There's God. no promises. You never know with, yeah. uh, with the Hallmark Channel, but uh, we're, we're working diligently to make this happen. Very good. That's cool. That's great. Uh, so, Caroline, what do you have at number seven? Sun, sand, and romance. Oh. I, did, I loved your role in it, Paul, but the other guy I didn't like, and that's what made it least enjoyable for me was he just kind of pushed her off to the side and you just came in and swooped in and saved the day but I did not like him so that made you didn't like him because he was just generally not a great guy no no and I want at least the wrong guy to be at least a little more enjoyable than that he just kind of just let her go on her own yeah and let you swoop in and save the day so like, he didn't even try he was a pretty bad man of business but mm -hmm. he wasn't so like sniveling bad man of business to be like funny. Mm -hmm. I can see that. Yeah. Here's the problem. Mm -hmm. He's a handsome, charming guy. If he had tried just a little bit harder, I never would have gotten her. <laughs> right? He had to be a yeah. total jerk just for me to go like, well, I'm the next best thing. And she's like, mm -hmm. yeah, there's, I'll take anything else other than this turd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, yeah, that's true. That's a good point. I hadn't thought about that part of the movie, but uh, I can see that as your number seven. I have mm -hmm. it. I have it higher. So, oh. <laughs> all right. So my number six is Holiday Hearts, and mm -hmm. I liked you and Ashley together. My problem with the movie was the reason why it's a six is I just thought the story wasn't the greatest. Um, sure. I mean, I just I I think that having uh being in the hospital that long for a broken leg probably not the most <laughs> realistic and and then asking your friends to drop everything during christmas to watch the daughter and expect her to do all of these stuff um was asking quite a lot and i felt like her the big reveal for her big project her big party was underwhelming <laughs> It, it was uh, it wasn't like the most magical thing I've ever seen, I guess, for Hallmark. Uh, it looked pretty standard. Um, but I thought that you two were cute together. You were funny together. And I enjoyed all of that, the interactions. And uh, the little girl was cute. Mm -hmm. And overall, it was pleasant. I enjoyed it. But it's at number six <laughs> mm. for me. Fair enough. Yeah. So, and I did like... The fact that in the hospital room they had like they had uh, all the Christmas decor and everything like that, and she had a he had a holiday blanket and everything. Like, I wonder if you that hospital. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> was that was nice. uh, a festive hospital they call yeah, it. it was. Christmas hospital. It was good, and it looked um, like it was a fun movie to make. 
it was super fun it was uh yeah that was it all i think that one was very last minute for me and mm -hmm. i know that they were they were working on that script for a long time and it felt like um they had had so many things in production especially with the ramp up to christmas production they just have so many things going and i feel like that one they were playing catch up a little bit i don't know if maybe it suffered a bit from um you know, having too many drafts, too many turnovers, or just not having enough time to really, there, there were a few little story things that I agree. I sort of went, is this, uh, is this necessarily um, <laughs> realistic? Like, will we do these? I find with the Hallmark stuff, generally, you don't have to suspend your disbelief too much, but there were a couple times where I was like, can't this guy just take care of this kid by himself? Like, I know yeah. he wants to make it special, but this woman is, she just said, this is like the busiest week of my life. And he's like, listen, I know I'm a doctor. I know I went to 37 years of med school, but <laughs> can you help me make these Christmas cookies? And then he never even struggles. Never once right. is he like, I no. can't do this. Yeah. He's like, she's like, wow, you're killing it. And he's like, yeah, you need to stay for three more days. She's like, okay. Yeah. Also, um, I felt like it was a little bit weird because if, if, if it was almost like she was, the little girl was acting like an orphan because she was acting, she was like doing drawings and stuff of them, of you two and her as like a family. And I'm like, <laughs> your dad's coming back. <laughs> That's how likable we are. We're I that know. likable that she's like, we had adoption papers ready to go for yeah. you. And she's like, maybe I should sign these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that I'll, was kind of funny too. I'll take your assessment. I I, uh, I don't have any huge issues with your assessment there. No. Oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> so, Caroline, what do you have at six? A God Week Christmas. Mm -hmm. I got. I, I love Kimberly. You're one of my favorites too. But it's just like I, I wanted more humor. Like I, I just felt more humor in the movie. I needed it. Yeah. That one was HMM, and uh, mm -hmm. and Kim and I worked so hard to to get jokes in there, and they just kept saying, "That's not the movie we're making." Yeah. It's just not mm -hmm. the movie. HMM, they really, uh, they'll really clip your wings with humor. And I think mm -hmm. it's because it's not, they're, they're not considered their rom-com movies. Um, yeah. They're more mm -hmm. like their uh, so dramatic, they you know, sort of dramedies in a sense. They, yeah. they lean towards dramatic. So if, if it plays more serious, it is because it's HMM, for sure. Mm -hmm. And it was a true, based on a true story, was, wasn't it, though? Y yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, it was sweet. I enjoyed it, but uh, but yeah, I I. Uh, I it was your it, last place. What are you talking yeah. about? I did enjoy it, but it was my least favorite. <laughs> you should have said it was sweet. I enjoyed it the least. The least. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. Very good. Okay. So my number five is Once Upon a Holiday. Oh. Huge scandal. I know most people would have this way higher. But I, I do think the script is pretty good. I like it. Uh, the, um, uh, the, you know, it's a princess movie. It's kind of a little bit of a different take and it's kind of unusual. I feel like you, you're kind of the lead in it, um, mm -hmm. which is different. You usually have female leads. Um, but maybe this will sound mean, but I didn't love Brianna Evigan in the movie. <laughs> I didn't think she was very good. <laughs> and uh, that's what was that's what holds me back from loving the film I, I mm -hmm. and so I I don't know and I I thought that hurt chemistry I don't hate it I have it above all these others but that was I just would have rather than picked a different lead for the movie mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I think they figured that out after did they? <laughs> I think so. I don't think she's done another movie for them. She's yeah. a really good actor. Mm -hmm. She just was, she doesn't come from that world. And I think she wanted to make a slightly different movie or she just wasn't willing to sort of bring that sparkly Hallmark thing that, mm -hmm. that is what kind of is, is what defines a lot of their leads is that ability to have that sort of eternal optimism, that kind of sparkle, whatever that thing is. Yeah. Um, she does a lot of like independent stuff and, mm -hmm. uh, and I've seen some of her work. She's really good. She just wasn't, um, she didn't quite have that Hallmark thing. I was going to say that, like, I, yeah. I have it at number five too, because uh, of like, I didn't get the Hallmark vibe from her. Like, mm. so, but I, I, I love the movie. 
I, I love the movie because like it was she's a princess and it's usually the prince and the girl falls in love with the prince but this time it was a princess <laughs> the reason why we ended up having you on the podcast the first time because you were only our second interview that we ever did was oh, because wow. I had given this three out of five stars on Instagram yeah. and you were like so mad <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm never mad. I uh, I like faux outrage. That's my that's my go-to. Faux outrage. I'm never mad about anything. You can say literally anything to me, and I'll be like, all right. So I was I was like, well, hey, if you're if you're upset, come on the podcast. We'll talk it out. And you did, and it was great. I did. Yeah. Um, I I actually do really like that movie. I think it was uh, it had a lot of cute stuff. It wasn't the most like. Um, I didn't feel like it was the most dynamic and, and we didn't have as much fun with it in general, but it did, I think, and maybe because of a lot of the tone that Brianna set, it was, it felt slightly more serious. And, um, you know, I really wouldn't say anything disparaging about her. I, I did really like her and like working with her. I just thought, yeah, it was, it was a different movie for Hallmark because of the tone that she brought to it. Mm -hmm. yeah i think so, so there it is yeah i mean thought. especially with the whole thing with her mom and yeah, the so there, mom. Was sort of, there was a little bit of a sadness to the whole thing but uh, but it's it, but it's cute i do like the script i think that's the strongest part about it yeah it was a good script mm -hmm. yeah 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 uh so you already did your five caroline mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. all right uh do you have anything to add about it you just the, just a slight just the same thing yeah. yeah okay well so for my number four i have sun sand and romance and I obviously I think you and Trisha had chemistry because you worked together in the past and uh, and so you could feel that and I, I I love anything with the ocean I'm a huge sucker for for the ocean I love the ocean and so I love the setting <laughs> and I I thought it was overall pretty cute uh, and I I think if I was going to give a little critique on it is just that I felt like uh, it was maybe she had these like crippling fears and anxieties of getting in the water and doing all this stuff. And then like, <laughs> like three minutes with you. And she's like, she's out there paddle boarding and she's doing great, yeah. which I mean, you're Paul Gamble. So maybe you that makes sense, me, but Rachel, I'm very, very persuasive. I yeah. have very, very strong persuasive powers. Yeah. Yeah. Kids want me to be their dad. Oh. <laughs> women with crippling fear of the water want to go high off the high dive i mean i can't i don't know it's just me it's just my energy yeah like you got over that crippling anxiety very quickly you really did especially yeah. in the water <laughs> especially water yeah yeah uh but uh but i enjoyed it and uh the you know the sort of the witty banter is, is always i'm a big fan of and i liked the ending uh, it was cute mm -hmm. and uh so yeah, ended up at number four for me. I wrote a lot of that uh, dialogue. Ah, nice job with the witty banter. That was that project was actually the first project that I sold to Hallmark. It was an idea that I came up with. I think I told you this, but um, we we the script changed hands a bunch of times, and we were like two or three days from shooting, and we still didn't have a script that we loved. So I just started writing. Uh, I just started writing scenes as we went, and then would like send them off to Hallmark to get approved and they would send them back and we'd shoot them the next day. It was kind of like fast wow. and loose, that one. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's crazy how they do that. Yeah, it's yeah. wild. And it still works. You wouldn't know. Yeah. You wouldn't know no. that it's, yeah. they've got it down to a science. Yeah. And I would say it's not my favorite chemistry, but I do think it's one of the better chemistries with you and Trisha, I think. Thank in you. In the film. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like that. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Caroline, what do you have at number four? Surprised by love. Mm -hmm. I, I, I love the movie. the the pa The parents kind of annoyed me some, and the um, with the the little sister, she was kind of like ditzy and stuff in that movie. And yeah, I, that's true. I, I I love the chemistry in the movie and the the grandpa. Um, yeah. that was really cute. You and him, the chemistry with him and you was so funny. And I, I, yeah, yeah, I just loved it. It was cute. Yeah, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. um, and that was my second movie. That was the second one I did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was uh, right after Window Wonderland. And it was written by the same team, Tippi and Neil Dabrowski, mm -hmm. who wrote Window Wonderland. That was mm -hmm. their movie. 
Did they do Once Upon a Holiday as well? No, I've only done two with them. They've okay. done, um, they've started doing fewer and fewer. They used to do about four or five a year. Now they're down to one. Yeah. I think they're transitioning to some other stuff. But they do like the Christmas train. They do all the big ones now. Yeah, um, they did like one the for, for Netflix last year. Oh, that was the, yeah. uh, was that with Kristen Davis? Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Holiday in the Wild. It was pretty, yeah, it wasn't yeah, yeah. Christmassy at all. Good writers. It mm-hmm. was hardly Christmas at all, but it was cute. I liked it. But, um, um, yeah, they're phenomenal. Yeah, I guess Once Upon a Holiday is David G- Golden. Is the right. David Golden. Yeah, that's right. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so my number three is The Last Bridesmaid. Interesting. Mm, yes. <laughs> I mean, I think you had really nice chemistry with Rachel. Uh, mm-hmm. And that uh, worked really well. And I'd love to see you guys work together again. I liked, I mean, normally I'm not a fan of wedding movies, but this wasn't a Bridezilla movie with a, no. um, so I, I, I found it tolerable. It also um, wasn't super gushy. It wasn't like, no. oh, I don't know. Yeah. It was just like, hey, we're getting married. Let's have, let's have some fun. Yeah. Because what I can't deal with is when people have this incredible gift of being able to find someone who wants to marry you and you spend the whole movie complaining and being a baby i can't yeah you can't. save that for the for the marriage you save that. <laughs> <laughs> that's right and <laughs> i mean it was the most epic wedding video of all time yes <laughs> we <laughs> told nina you need to submit it to sundance this video <laughs> this <laughs> american wedding uh because <laughs> it would be so epic um yeah. but i liked the whole idea of your character kind of being insecure about his art and his documentary getting you know seen by her uncle and his just his insecurity uh, i thought worked well and also her insecurity about what she's going to do as far as is she going to work for her parents and going to continue that legacy or is she going to go out on her own i thought that it was pretty grown-up conflict that Mm -hmm. nina is exceptional at writing uh really layered characters mm-hmm. and carrying through those layers right until the end, those insecurities mm-hmm. and stuff. And just n- her exposition, the way she sort of weaves that stuff into the story is second to none. Cause it's really yeah. tough to do that without just, you know, like constantly coming out and reminding people, oh, by the way, I'm really insecure mm-hmm. here. You know, just right. with weird expository mm-hmm. dialogue. And she just sort of weaves it in through actions and stuff. So you never lose sight of, this is a real human with, yeah. um, you know, with with many layers and dynamic characters. I, yeah, also she doesn't make it too harsh, you know, that like sometimes people are like, how could you lie to me? I'm never gonna talk to you again, kind of a thing. Or how could you do that? This is over. And you're just like, oh, come on. Uh, yeah. But it's more of a natural reaction of what you might feel, but they mm-hmm. deal with it and, and uh, and it, it works. And I, I liked also, I liked the ending. I thought that was really swoon worthy. And mm-hmm. I also liked the supporting cast. I thought everybody did a good job. And so overall, I, I really enjoyed it. And so it's mm-hmm. a number three. Uh, but uh, Caroline, what do you have at three? The last Bridesmaid. Yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is crazy. What is happening here? I know. On the same link. I love the chemistry between you and Rachel. That was really good, and the the conflict was very grown up conflict. It wasn't like like I just I just love the conflict, both insecure like Rachel said. I like that, and I love wedding movies. So yeah, oh, yeah, very good. All right, so this is my top two, mm. and it's going to be a surprise. I think I've done the math. My number two is Window Wonderland. Oh, what? <laughs> I yes. Did not do the math. Okay. Yes, and I really like this film. It's nice to to have a a story about uh, characters in the city, uh, a little bit different. It's not going back mm-hmm. to the small town. Uh, and I like you and Skylar. Uh, she's a little bit different for a Hallmark lead. Uh, it's nice she has short hair, which you never see, mm-hmm. um, and just a little mm-hmm. bit more sass. And, uh, and I, I think that 
that's good and I think it matches well with you. And I think this one, your humor is able to come out pretty good. I also like Cameron Matheson as this over the top yeah. bad guy. He's really fun. It was his first, um, it was his first Hallmark movie too. It was both oh, really? of our first Hallmark movie. Yeah. Yeah. It's really, it's really good. I enjoy it. And uh, I, the, the, my number one just makes me laugh a little bit more. So it got to number oh. one. But, uh, but what do you have at number two, Caroline? Holiday Hearts. I, I love Holiday Hearts. Wow, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I love Ash Ashley Williams, and I was very excited about the pairing. So that might have had a more effect on me than just watching the movie, just yeah. because y'all two together was really cute. I love a little girl. She was so cute, and she wanted to do all the little family things together. And I, I love, I just love the movie. It was, I watch it a lot because I have it on my DVR. Nice. <laughs> Good. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm, you, I'm flattered when you get the rare when you get the rare space on the dvr you know that's a special movie mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah i know I'm feeling <laughs> especially really in hallmark a hallmark plan <laughs> dvr so yeah you should be proud <laughs> how many movies uh, are we talking each of you how many movies on each of your dvr i have a lot Just um, movies. i mean at least 50 i would say wow. yeah i, say like I have a lot 30 30 yeah. maybe wow mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're out there. Oh, I'm so, I'm, yeah. I'm so pleased. Yes. But, but when you watch a new one mm -hmm. that you like, and then you have to kind of go through the yeah. old ones, and you're like, yes. it's hard. Yeah. Who gets the cut? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. So, uh, yeah, so, you don't want to play favorites, but yeah. You know. Yeah. It's a tough, uh, mm -hmm. tough world. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Window Wonderland, it seemed like it was a movie that was a lot of fun. I mean, it was your first one. So uh, it was your dive into Hallmark movies. I also think uh, this was, um, this was right before Hallmark started really focusing a lot of their content towards the sort of, you know, two-hander love stories. This was when, when Bill had taken over, I don't think he'd been at the helm for very long. I think this was just happening. So this was still, we, we got a little bit loose with the humor. Like it was just, we were doing some improvising and the script was a little edgier uh, and I had never done a Hallmark movie. So I came in just doing it as a straight comedy, basically. I just was like, let's just make a romantic comedy without um, knowing what sort of the Hallmark thing was. So maybe that reads a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think so. I think I, I definitely, it feels, it feels refreshing, especially mm -hmm. if you're watching like, uh, you know, 100 Christmas movies <laughs> during the season, you watch this one, and you're like, oh, that was different. Yeah. Uh, so, mm -hmm. all right. Well, my number one is Surprise by Love. Surprise! Mm. Yay! <laughs> I think that you and Hillary have the best chemistry of anybody that you've worked with. Thank in you. In my opinion. I love her, and I love you, and so that goes a long way uh, in this movie. I like your character. I like how the you you initially kind of judge him, that like, oh, he's being lazy, he's being whatever. But then as you get to know him, you realize there's a lot more to him. And like typically, you know, they have these sort of reformed men of business or, or the small town guy, like he was a little bit different, uh, which I appreciate. And uh, I just really think it's funny. It's a, it's a funny script and it makes me laugh. And yeah, her parents are kind of a lot, but mm -hmm. <laughs> it was okay for me and uh, yeah you and Tim Conway so great and yeah that's my favorite my career, working with Tim Conway I'll tell you yeah that. yeah that must have been amazing it was it was amazing it was a master class just in prop comedy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah and I don't know I just think it's the silliest of any of them and the most fun and uh, like I said I love Hillary so that made him a number one number one Mm. Yeah, it was pretty silly. It was a lot of fun too. And again, it was Tippy and Neil, and they just they write great dialogue. Mm -hmm. They're so fun to speak their dialogue, and their you know their their dialogue suits me very well. Like sometimes I'm, it feels like you got marbles in your mouth trying to say a writer's words, but it's like I, they think the way I speak, and they write the way I speak. So it just feels like it's me just speaking. It's yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's rare. I feel like this role for you was kind of similar to what I would get in like a, I mean, not as silly as like a Will Ferrell kind of thing, but as close as you'd get to something like that in the, in the world of Hallmark, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, especially something where he plays kind of this 
slightly man childish <laughs> and uh and it kind of had that that feel and that 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 humor and that warmth and so yeah they're not making those movies anymore they're mm -hmm. really not they're not um it's just a, a different direction but they make uh, some yeah. of them on lifetime you'll see them from time to time mm. Uh, and uh, maybe that's why Hillary has landed there, kind of. Uh, Lifetime but, um, is the name if we shall not speak it, mm -hmm. I think. We don't, uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, um, I don't, I have nothing to do with Lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, be, they, they tend to be a little teeny bit sillier over there yeah. at Lifetime. Mm -hmm. So that's, yeah. that's fun. But there's sure. good to have everything. Uh, so Caroline, drum roll. <laughs> Winter Wonderland, yay! What? <laughs> 2013 was the year I started watching Hallmark Channel Christmas movies, and so like I just went, I went in deep like in 2013, and it, I never got out. So yeah. I, I just, it was one of my first ones I watched, and I loved the chemistry and the the competing windows. That was so cute. I, I wish there was more movies like that now, especially in the city like in, at Christmas time, cause that's magical anyway. So. And they were so well done. Those windows were designed mm -hmm. so beautifully. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the food, I really- the food, fight, the food fight scene makes me laugh every single time. I, I can't get enough. It's so funny. So good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those actors just went for it. Yeah, it was funny. It was like all over the place. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. that was it. That was a blast. That mm -hmm. was, um, I mean, listen, I think Window Wonderland is my favorite. I've said this before, it's just because it holds a special place in my heart. It was the first one I did. It was the first, we did sort of open the door to the Hallmark world for me. And uh, we just got to be silly and, and make jokes and have fun. And uh, yeah, it just, it's always had a special place for me. So yeah. I would say it's still, just out of fairness, I would say it's, it's, the, it's the first one and it's my, my favorite still. Very good. All right, well, let's go over our ranking real quick, uh, Caroline. Mm -hmm. So for me, I had God Went Christmas at seven, Holiday Hearts at six, Once Upon a Holiday at five, Sun Sand Romance at four, The Last Bridesmaid at three, Window Wonderland mm -hmm. at two, and Surprised by Love at one. I had Sun Sand and Romance at seven, A God Went Christmas six, Once Upon a Holiday five, Surprised by Love four, The Last Bridesmaid three, Holiday Hearts two, and Wonder of Wonderland number one. Yeah. Very good. So uh, Paul, what do you think of our, our rankings now that we've done? Are you going to be very angry at us? Or you, you Who's your favorite? Um, <laughs> yeah, which one I'm of us do you like better? <laughs> I'm yeah. curious. Yeah, I'm gonna rank, uh, you're both tied for last. <laughs> <laughs> on my list. Um, after that. No, I'm kidding. Listen, I think you both justified your rankings beautifully. I didn't really disagree with uh, any of the stuff that you said. You, you made valid points. And um, uh, I'm happy. I'm happy with the way this worked out. I didn't have to write any angry letters. I didn't have to get my lawyer involved and um, file lawsuits. I may still. Don't, don't, uh, don't get too comfortable. <laughs> but uh, I feel like this went pretty well for me. So I have nothing bad to say here. This, this episode of, uh, of your podcast is my favorite. It's my number one. Oh, yes. Yeah. Very good. Well, yeah. thank you so much for letting us do this. It was a lot of fun and uh, for being a good sport about it. And uh, we, we certainly do appreciate it. And let us know if you're listening, let us know your rankings and you can put it on Twitter or in the comments section and it'll be really fun when you share. <laughs> and uh, so Paul, where can people find you on social media and all that fun stuff? Uh, you can find me on Instagram. I'm Paul Campbell official on Instagram. Um, post a lot of ridiculous stories involving my son. And uh, I'm also on Twitter at the Paul Campbell. A very, uh, very humble Twitter handle that I've got. <laughs> the Paul Campbell uh, on Twitter. Um, Caroline, uh, how can people find you? You can find me at Twitter at me to Caroline R. Great. And you can find me at Rachel's Reviews, all of our social media, and on iTunes, YouTube, and on Rotten Tomatoes. So check that out. And make sure you're following the podcast at Homebrookies Pod and Homebrookies Podcast, all of our social media, 
And if you're listening on iTunes, please leave us your ratings and reviews. We really appreciate it. And if you are watching on YouTube, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We sure appreciate that. We have our patron group, which means so much to us right now. And we have our merch store, which has lots of fun, cool stuff. So check all of that out. That'll all be in the description. And thanks again, Paul. You're the best. We really appreciate it. Thanks and, for uh, having me. This yes. was great. Look forward to having you on again soon where you will have the record. Deal. <laughs> Most appearances. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Thank Bye, you. everyone. Bye. Bye.